No, you remember Yu Yu Hakusho? The blue thing? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot the name, but... You're right. <laughs> wow. Yeah. See? Not a Chia Pet. Yeah. <laughs> That's so interesting. <laughs> he said Chia Pet. <laughs> I don't know why he said Chia Pet. Yeah. Yo, 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 welcome back to another video. My name is Robert Tini, The Source, and I'm a music producer who also happens to like anime and games, and we are back with another Hunter Hunter reaction. Very excited as we are going to be hopping into episode 45, 46, 47, and 48. Very excited because this arc seems like it's going to be wild based on what I've been watching so far. So I can't wait for you guys to watch the reaction. But of course, I do things a little bit differently as I show you guys just snippets of my reaction. And then at the end, I pick a scene from those batches of episode and then I talk about the music. So definitely stay tuned to the end so you can see which scene I decide to choose and we can talk about whatever music is in that scene. It'll be very exciting. And, of course, if you like this kind of content, and if you like my other content and the other videos on the channel, definitely go and hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week, and also hit the like button as well. It'll be greatly appreciated. Can't wait to get into it, and of course, I am a music producer as well. That means that I have music production content, and all the links will be in the description below. So definitely go check out the beats and check out all the other exclusive content that I have going on, especially for those of you guys who are interested on the Patreon, because there I have exclusive music production content and exclusive anime content. So if you want to see more of those Hunter Hunter reactions, they're on Patreon. So with that being said, let's not waste any more time and let's hop into it. Let's go. Restraint and Val. <laughs> it's been a minute. Yeah, it's been a minute. <laughs> oh, fun, fun cloth. <laughs> Sounds like a devil fruit. <laughs> <laughs> or a happy time cloth. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, this must be one of the um. What's what's the name of those creatures? Oh, that's why he went in there. That's pretty cool. Yeah. They showed him from before. Ooh, is it gonna be another Shadow Beast showdown? I hope these Shadow Beasts are way more impressive than the last <laughs> ones. They better be more impressive. Please don't. Oh my god, here we go. Uh, I said I have a feeling it's gonna be real quick. Again. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Ah. <sighs> wow. You see this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Spank. Oh man. But it shows you how strong the Phantom Troop is. They're on another league. Yep. Wow. I was like, yeah, this is gonna be too easy. Of course he's still gonna eat. Wow. Oh, he is serious. I was gonna say, yeah, Melody could figure that out. Yo, Melody has a dope power. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Hmm. I like how he's just sitting there reading. <laughs> Knowledge is power. I'm surprised Hisoka doesn't get turned on by uh, Kurapika's strength, or maybe he will. <laughs> <laughs> Is that why you think he gets turned on? Oh, the yeah. Strength of, yeah. I think he's, so, too. He gets turned on. Um, let me pause this real quick. Yeah, so he basically gets turned on just by the thrill of battle, mm -hmm. from my understanding. And um, how do I know this? One, uh, obviously seeing what he's been through, but also a lot of uh, you fans actually have also said this. So you guys have been mentioning that, mm -hmm. that he basically gets turned on through the, the thrill of uh, fighting a fortable enemy. Mm-hmm. All right. Fair enough. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> they plotting. Yo, they are crazy. Yeah, I like this, uh... This choir thing going on, too. 
It, it, it would be fitting for Hisoka to be yeah. here. <laughs> wow, this automatically makes sense because he has a thrill. Yep. <laughs> oh, wow. You speak it, it comes into fruitation. <laughs> this literally just solidified it. Yep. Oh! No way. What? No way. Is he going to give this information? Will Kurapika say yes, though? Well, he wants to take down the Phantom Troop. Oh! What? What the freak? Wow! So that's what they were planning? Dang! <laughs> oh my gosh! Yo! <laughs> oh, Trollo is his name. What is Kurapika gonna say? I'm still shocked that Hisoka even asked him. Yeah, that is true. Dang, that was quick. <laughs> wow. Let's see how this goes. You know Sakichi? Yeah, I do know uh -huh. Sakichi. Right there. Oh, uh, yeah. That's, um... Ah, oh, what is that? Chia Pet? I think? <laughs> Everybody on YouTube is gonna laugh. No, remember Yu Yu Hakusho? The blue thing? Oh, yeah! <laughs> I forgot the name, but... You're right! <laughs> wow! Yeah! See? Not a Chia Pet, yeah! <laughs> That's so interesting! He said Chia Pet. <laughs> I don't know why he said Chia Pet. Yeah. <laughs> Let that be the uh, intro to the... Um... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Wow, okay. That's cool. Alright. <laughs> yeah. Alright, back to it now. Wow, he's really, he's really trying to find Kurapika. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Yes, they can. And he's on his way right now. Wow, look at Kurapika leading this whole thing right now. Yeah. Hey. I was just thinking about them. <laughs> Hmm. I don't trust this. Wow, an underground arm wrestling. It gets real. <laughs> <laughs> Dang, he got a whole arena and yeah, everything. Yeah, whole arena. That's funny. Damn, but still 50%. I feel like this is a setup. Whoa. Oh, wow. Wow, so now everybody's out for them. Dang, you see how information just spreads like that? That's how it'd be in, for real, in real life. If Gun were to fight one of the Phantom Troops, you think he could beat him? I don't know. Because uh, these Phantom Troop members are strong as shit. Yeah. They're strong as shit. I, I'm going to say no. Okay. But we'll see. If they do end up fighting them. Who are people going to answer? He may not. Oh. Ah. Okay, gun. Exactly, if you think about it. Oh. <laughs> what a threat. What a threat. I can't believe this is about to go down. And they really went to a wasteland. Wow, what an honorable fight. They decided to actually fight in an honorable way. You know, Kurapika could have just attacked him while he was peeing. Here we go. Oh. It means business. He means business. Oh, man. Is he being a jerk? <laughs> he must be being a jerk. Oh. <laughs> this is about to be fun. Yeah, he's using that. That, um. That resolve. Oh. Ooh, it's Kurapika's 10. Is it enough? Oh! Nice. Dang. Yeah, he really used that 10. He... That 10 technique came in handy real quick. Oh! 
Oh my goodness. Kuda Pika, you're about to make this guy mad. Exactly, you know how anime is, 20%. <laughs> Uh, hey, let's see. Wow, the fact that Kurapika's holding his own is so impressive. Like, it's so impressive. In. Yeah. Ooh. 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 Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, that is tough. That is tough. Oh. So I guess the Kurta family, they were all known for being able to use multiple categories very well. Pause this real quick. I'm going to assume, and I could be completely wrong here, but as we were talking about before, uh, or as, as Kurapika mentioned before, there is a, um, there's this resolve that he's using, and I think that's why he's able to really be able to use his Nen in this way, because his Nen is definitely heightened but it's only because of that um resolve within himself and that's why he's able to basically be able to use the enhancer and the conjurer techniques simultaneously and use them very well now i don't know if i'm 100 right but i'm also wondering if there's a time limit for this as well that's what i'm thinking but we'll see in a second so let's keep going yep ah there you go wow wow Wow. Here I am guessing this is what he's trying to do and then he just tells us. That's sick. So that's what specialist does. They they can control all categories at once. That's fire. That's tough. Okay, so I just want to make sure I get this right because I know he explains before, but this is what I was talking about. The whole resolve and the condition thing. So obviously if you determine whatever condition, you can incorporate that into your Nen and then your Nen becomes stronger. It's almost like spirit energy in a way. Kind of, right? It's like the stronger your spirit is aligned with that condition, the stronger your Nen is. So that's the Kurta family secret, huh? That's why the red scarlet eyes are important. I'm going to guess. Wow. Look at his arm. Wow. Wow. Bruh. <laughs> that's sick. Yo. Wow. Clearly. Yeah. Dang. Wow. For your first target. <laughs> Calculated everything. Hold on. I just want to go back here real quick. He said, Ch Chain Jail forcibly activate Zetsu. Chain Jail forcibly activate Zetsu upon any troop member it ensnares. Wow. That's tough. That's tough. Wow, that's crazy. This condition thing is so interesting. And the fact that Kurapika can be a specialist with the Scarlet Eyes. Wow. Wow. It is tough, man. He did. Yo, Kurapika is a G. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, he's going to final blow. Or is he going to make him suffer? He's going to make him suffer. Wow. He's going to continue to make him suffer. I can see. Yeah. Dang. Wow. How about that? This guy was so badass before. And now. Ooh. Oh. 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 Well, hold on for a second. Not only can you create condition for yourself. But you can create condition for other people. Is that what this, this is? Yo. That's crazy. Yo. Kuda Pika. Dang. This guy did not care. Wow, he did not care. He was the ultimate killing machine. After all that suffering, it didn't matter. One down. <laughs> Way more to go, though. Oh, man. I like how the jazz music is really slow here. That's pretty cool. Nice little twist. This is a really cool way for them to get involved with this, so I'm very excited.
I hate to break it to you, Leorio, but they're way stronger than what they're giving them credit for. <laughs> Dang. So he doesn't know Gio, huh? Oh, wow. All right. Smart. Okay. So who is this uh, This guy? We'll find out. <laughs> Not going to happen. But you know what? I think they're going to get their money for sure. Wonder what they're gonna think when they finally meet up with Kudapika though. Kudapika's gotten so much stronger. And I love how they can just use Nen and no one just notices it. So they're just kinda like figuring out You know what they need to get. Ha <laughs> hoodwink, I haven't heard that word in a minute. Ah oh. Wow, he knows his stuff. Okay, so Zeppel doesn't seem like a bad guy. Hopefully not. I like his eyebrows. Once again, the character desi designs are pretty interesting in this series. <laughs> it beats paying him. <laughs> oh. Kilo was always... Kilo was always just on point with everything. Yeah, six billion is a lot of money. 8.9. <laughs> uh, he's like, yep, I'm a pro hunter too now. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That's exactly the question that I have as well. <laughs> hmm. Nice little interesting mood here with the piano change. That's pretty cool. Hmm. The theme. Yeah. Innocent curiosity. Right or wrong. That's actually... That's a great way to really... Wow. Very interesting observation. And I have a feeling that's going to be a very key thing as the show moves forward. I'm going to pause this because this, I kind of have a thought here. Because I'm wondering too. Because I, I know um, even uh, Wing mentioned this too. That... As talented as Gon and Kilo are, there's some dangerous aspects to them because they, um, they're quick learners and they're able to really get a hold of Nen so early. And based on this, uh, based on this um, kind of observation on Gon's personality, you know, low key Gon could technically be manipulated just because he may not fully understand what's right from what's wrong, but. He's just a curious human being. Like I'm sure he know he he probably knows what is right and what is wrong to an extent. But it's gonna be interesting. I'm just wondering if this was just some sort of foreshadowing going on. Um, that's all. That's all. just a thought. I could be completely wrong, but that that's just a thought. That was pretty cool here, though. Let's continue. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's actually pretty obvious. That's really obvious. Oh, they're about to go meet up or try to take these spiders, huh? All right, all right, you guys. Thank you for staying here to the end. As you can see, I this is definitely being recorded on another day, <laughs> but um. Yeah, I just wanted to kind of go over a quick scene. I'm going to keep this a little bit shorter for this week only because, um, you know, I just wanted to kind of bring up a song that, well, not even a song, but a piece that plays basically throughout the entire series. And I never got an opportunity to talk about it. And I wanted to. And on top of that, I know there's some other pieces that I also want to talk about, but I'll save those for another reaction when the characters show up. Um, so for this scene, obviously... A lot going on with the uh, Uvo versus um, Uvo again versus Kurapika fight. And um, it was obviously fun to watch. It was tr truly amazing. But one of the things that I, um, you know, I wanted to point out was usually when a character is about to use their Nen or before a big battle, there's this really cool theme that plays. So I just wanted to play that a little bit for you guys so you guys can get an idea of uh, what it sounds like. So here we go. He's gonna talk, I believe. 
I don't know if the music's gonna play yet. There we go. Alright, so now now you guys are about to hear the music, so let's continue. What I love about this is that you hear this weird ambiance with the music, right? And really the theme has a bunch of, uh, just a few string instruments playing some eighth notes. At least that's what it sounds like. Um, it could be quarter notes. It all depends on what the tempo is. I can't really tell what the tempo of the music could be. But basically a quarter note would is the equivalent of one count, right? And if you were to do an eighth note, that would be half of that. So if this was in... 4-4 four, four time, which is four notes in um, one bar, right? So let's just assume that this is 4-4 four, four time, then that means the eighth note would be half. So um, so you could be 1, 2, 3, 4, but then an eighth note would be 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and pretty much. That's like a basic uh, breakdown of the, the counts for an eighth note. So that's what that sounds like. So in this situation, you're going to hear the violins doing a do 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 do. So to me, that sounds like an eighth note pretty much. And what's pretty cool about this is that it seems like the the strings are obviously doing eighth notes um almost in a um scale fashion in a way, like it's going up and down the scale, so I thought that was pretty cool. But really, I just wanted to point this out because this is a really cool moment because it's like you the, the the way that the strings are playing, it's it's almost sounds like something epic is about to happen, but in a very, very, very calm fashion, which is really cool. And I think part of that is because anytime they mention Nen, the idea of Nen, it's supposed to be a power that's very complex and very mysterious, right? Because we don't know who's what the category is of the user until the user starts using their Nen abilities. So that's what makes this so cool. So that's what I think about when I'm listening um, to this, right? <laughs> And then to kind of keep going and keep letting the phrase repeat, you're going to hear like a little cymbal crash. Just a very, very slight one. Nothing much, but all it does is just lead into the next phrase, which is the repeated violins doing that do, 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 do. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, it just keeps going. And then all you hear is, I think, I don't know the exact instrument. I, I think it sounds like a, a bass or a cello of some sort. Um, but basically, you just hear them playing one note. That note is just being super long. And the more, the longer the note goes, just the, the, um, the more you just hear the violence playing the eighth notes, the more anticipation of the battle is coming up. And it, it's all about figuring out what the net is. And that's actually what Uvo's trying to do. He, he finally realizes that Kurapika is definitely not an ordinary Nen user. And uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. So we're going to see if there anything changes or if the theme kind of stays consistent here. I don't think it does. So you see, it's the same. Oh, let's keep going. So what I just noticed here is that obviously there's that same string pattern but while that pattern is playing and everything else is the same you hear these just little nuances of different sounds going on I heard a little bit of a piano doing a very very slight little uh, thing going on uh, phrase there right and then you also hear some sort of vocal thing in the background just a very slight but you can hear it uh, I thought that was very interesting so I want to know if that actually comes up again <laughs> Same thing. It just keeps going. It's all about the anticipation. It's all about the anticipation. And that's what makes it simple. Now here, you can kind of hear another instrument on top of the one note that was playing. It seems like the instrument is doing something really, really unique. I can't hear it per se, but you, I think you just have to really listen a little bit more and then you'll be able to really hear that. And then same thing, you get the little symbol, right? And you hear that piano doing that dun dun dun, right at um right before the the next part of the phrase. So that's pretty interesting. So here you go. Once again, you hear another sound within the background. You hear all of the cool background stuff going on. They're very slight, 
but they're there and they exist and once again it just adds to the mysteriousness of just the anticipated battle and the anticipation of the Nen techniques that are about to be being used. And see? It ends just like that. And of course, the battle basically starts with a whole new phrase. <laughs> so we're going to end it there though. Because I could definitely talk about a lot of stuff going on with the battle and even at the end of the episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Once again, it's just, it's a very, it's... Like I'm saying in all of my videos, really, it's it's those little details in the music that makes these scenes so interesting, right? This was a very subtle thing. Not much was really going on musically, just besides the fact that you had the string doing the same thing over and over again. But it's those tiny little details that what makes this theme really cool, right? Because once again, you know, you're watching this and you're feeling that anticipation. And this theme plays pretty much all the time in almost every episode uh, pretty much so I thought that was very cool so I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little music analysis all right guys I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction as well as music analysis and of course like I said before if you like this content definitely go hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you know when I drop a video every week and we will keep it going. Very excited. I can't wait to get into the episodes for next week. So definitely stay tuned. So with that being said, my name is Robert Tini, the source, music producer. Don't forget that, right? I am a music producer. But anyway, I'm out of here. So don't let anybody ever tell you who you can or cannot be. And until the next video, I am out. Mm -hmm.